Hey guys, I'm Sarah, and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my little space to share thoughts, experiences, and hopefully a little inspiration as I go through this journey of being a maxillofacial prosthodontist. So let me reintroduce myself. Hi, I'm Sarah, and I'm a maxillofacial prosthodontist. Okay. If I'm very honest, that is probably 99% of the reactions that I get when I introduce myself that way. So what is exactly a maxillofacial prosthodontist? Admittedly, it's a pretty loaded word, so let's break it down into its working parts. Maxillofacial is a fancy schmancy word referring to the face, more specifically, the upper and lower jaws, and structures related to these regions. Prosthodontist is another big word, and so if we break that into its parts, prosto is actually referring to prosthetics or artificial body parts. Odontist is talking about a person who specializes in dentistry. So prosthodontist is a dental specialist who makes prosthetics to restore parts of the mouth. So why do I go into the trouble of introducing myself as a maxillofacial prosthodontist? Well, the reality is, is that my care is very different from that of a general dentist. In fact, it took me 27 years to get to this point in my career. And let me explain why. So I was trained in the US, so all of this is going to refer to the American education system. But before you can even consider going into dental school, most schools require that you complete an undergraduate degree. This is typically a four-year university where you obtain a Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Arts in whatever field specialty you prefer. After that, then you go into dental school. Dental school in the U.S. is another four-year endeavor. At that point, you graduate with either a Doctor of Dental Surgery or a Doctor of Dental Medicine, but either way, you're a general dentist at that point. So a general dentist is a jack of all trades. You can do any type of treatment within any scope of practice, except you may not be necessarily specialized in a more technique sensitive procedure. For example, while a general dentist may be able to do a crown and a bridge, just like a prosthodontist can, they may not necessarily be trained to handle a full mouth reconstruction. So, for those who want to specialize in a little bit more in depth in a certain aspect of dentistry, there are residencies. Now there are many types of residencies that represent not only the different types of specialties in dentistry, but also different experiences. And they range from one all the way up to six years. Some residencies you can actually get dual certification as well. Now, I went through a general practice residency before I went into prosthodontics. So my general practice residency was a hospital-based program that was one year long that focused on working with patients with more medically complex comorbidities and also patients who have disabilities that make it very challenging for them to be treated in a typical dental clinic. In addition, I got to actually incorporate my practice and my studies with general medicine. So I got to rotate with anesthesia, emergency medicine. It was a really cool opportunity to learn how oral health combines with general health. After that, I then pursued my prosthodontics programs. So let me talk a little bit more specifically though on the prosthodontics specialty. All US-based prosthodontics programs are 36 months, school for three years, and finally graduated. And at graduation, I decided to, why not, extend my, my training to another additional year. And that is through the subspecialty of maxillofacial prosthodontics. In the US, there are actually seven programs. Two of them are affiliated with our military branches but the other five are dispersed throughout the U.S. While small and a bit competitive, these programs are really the creme de la creme in terms of opportunities and the mentorship that you get through them. 
path of becoming a maxillofacial prosthodontist is certainly a long one. To be really honest, when I first entered dental school, I thought that was going to be the last four years of my formal education. I had no idea that I was about to open a huge can of worms and pursue another many years of school afterwards. But it's certainly well worth it. And each phase of training actually gave me the little boost to go towards maxillofacial prosthodontics. In dental school, when I was trying to learn how to wax teeth and do tooth preparations for crowns, that was really what inspired me to be creative, to learn a little bit more about prosthodontics. It got me a little bit more interested. It was actually during my own general practice residency program where I got to work with our head and neck cancer population that I realized how meaningful prosthodontics and more specifically maxillofacial prosthodontics meant in terms of my professional aspirations and goals and just why I was in dentistry as well. So I would encourage you to look at the websites I'll share below and learn about the different types of avenues that you can go through dentistry. So a funny tidbit, when I was doing my dental interviews, I was interviewed by a periodontist and I had no idea what periodontology was. So it's never too late to learn about the specialties that dentistry offers. And certainly look into maxillofacial prosthodontics as well, a specialty that's very close to my heart. Thank you guys for joining me today and I hope that you continue to like and share my videos and hopefully I'll get better at making these videos as well. But otherwise, see you guys later.